was our brief. Special Halloween edition. Still working yeah. on that, huh? God damn it. Still working on For that. For October 2015, I'm Bryce Castillo. That's Brent Hughes, really me. And John Tilton. Yo. Uh, and uh, it's October. Uh, it's starting to get it's starting to get cool. We just had a lot of rain, and now it's starting to feel like fall time. What are you going to do? Don't, don't worry. Playing Rocket League. Stop. <laughs> I just, Stop jocking me. <laughs> uh, did you, you... You were in Dallas past couple days right Grant yeah uh, how did you guys get any of that like crazy rain hell yeah it was great it was it rained almost the entire time I was there and we had like a lot of like good low-hanging fast-moving clouds and it was super stormy it was fantastic awesome no flooding this time though. no flooding and no flooding hey no some... flooding in your your new place too so in I Austin mean, I haven't I haven't been there since I left, so yeah. He oh, came, came he straight came here. here from. I just drove for four hours to get here for this podcast. <laughs> wow! Wow! What a what a what a trooper! Committed yeah. host of the bizarre briefing. Yeah, and I got here before John. You did get here before oh, me. Shit. Oh, that's true. Oh, it's, no, no, it, no. John it is was like true, five though. minutes away. The closer you are, the more you are late for stuff. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but it's like you know, if you live like a far away, you away, don't have to plan. You know. Yeah, because it's just like, oh, I'm there anyway, we'll whatever. Do it. Yeah. yeah. And then, but if you're like, oh, I gotta drive an hour, well, this is when I need to leave. And yeah, then yeah. traffic ends up being good, and you're like 20 minutes early, right? So, yeah. I mean, that doesn't happen. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, the idea is, the idea is sound. Uh, did, did you guys get any flooding where you are, John? No, we were fine. Good. We had a lot of sounds of rain, though. I, uh, that's good. I didn't make the connection that the big hurricane would lead to storms here or terrain here. And so I woke up to a text message from my mom that says, call your grandfather. He's worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens. Um, Although apparently yeah. the hurricane wasn't really bad anywhere. It ended up breaking up a little bit. Oh, that, at least that's what I heard. Yeah. I don't um, know if it was different. but I, I know there were some evacuations in Mexico, I think, but. Hopefully, there. Hope, our 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 thoughts and and Corazon's go to out to Mexico. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, this is our briefing. Hey, uh, what do we want to talk about first? The big thing, the big thing, the Ar- Arcana. Uh, we sure. Arcana. We can talk about that. Uh, so we just launched a new product on Scamstuff. By the uh, way, there's a link in the doc, Bryce. What? Just... No, there wasn't. Oh god damn it! There was new products. Well, I'm gonna I'm Ow. gonna show the the scamstuff.com page because you can also see this graphic I made. Oh, what uh, happened here? Uh, well, I took that off because we it sucked. We have because for it's a bad. second <laughs> we are we are like overly okay. Okay, so let's Let let's, me, let's take it back. Let's I'm trying, it back. To, I'm it back. trying to dance around. Okay, so stuff. so we we'll, we'll we'll take it back. So so we launched. Uh, uh, a deck of cards. Deck of cards. The Ar- finally, Arcana Alpha and Omega. Here's we got some... literally one of the first suggestions I ever mentioned to Brian when I started working here. I was like, "You need a deck of cards for everyone your own. has for years and years been telling Brian about having a deck of cards, and yeah. so this is finally, uh, this is finally it. Wasn't um that was like one of the things when the Indiegogo happened was like we're gonna yeah. do a deck of cards. That was always going right. to be like the next project. Mm. So, but what happened was the rogues ring idea. So it takes a lot to produce a deck of cards. Yes, um, yes. at least to That's do why it, I never at least it. to do it right because a you need to order a crap ton of them. Mm-hmm. So you need to be like really committed to it, and so uh, so that's part of it. And then. Um, Additionally, uh, can you actually go to the other page too? I just want to double check I didn't like um, since I just changed the price like two seconds before the show. I just want to make sure that I didn't do something stupid sure. like make it ninety nine cents. Um, I but, just got this like worry that I just ruined everything. Okay. Um, it's so there's that version and then there's the playing cards version. Okay. If you go back and scroll down a little bit, yeah, that one. I'm sorry, I didn't uh-huh. mean to derail. This is great. Um. So switch to the artifact there. Perfect. Okay. okay. I just had this like moment where I was just like really worried mm-hmm. that I screwed something up. That happens with big releases like this. Anyway, so, so deck of cards. Yeah, it takes a lot to commit to doing a deck of cards. You gotta get that design right. Uh, there's it's a takes a really long time to put together. And so uh, what happened was the rogues ring uh, a few years ago. Um. 
that we ended up doing and it it did really well for us so we did a lot more in the rogues line of stuff including the wallet and the flask and all that good stuff Mm -hmm. um and so this year we decided all right we're finally going to do this deck of cards and uh we knowing it was going to take a while like we started this back in february that's right trying to aim for like a you know summer release and then then we were all of a sudden aiming for a september release and now we're like late october pre-order release for november shipment so it uh kind of shows you know the there's there was a lot of unforeseen challenges on this type of thing Mm -hmm. um but another another part of it was the artifact the arcana artifact which is yeah uh special limited uh 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 package for the decks so you get both of the decks uh, you get this great puzzle box which is made out of mahogany uh and you get a challenge coin which are individually numbered right yes correct uh, so all those have a different unique number to them and so you know you've got it the pu- the ch- the bah, 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 the puzzle box has a combination that we won't give you super secret super super duper secret the best uh, is the people emailing Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll email and just be like, hey, so I'm not going to buy this, but I want to know if I'm right on the puzzle. Mm. In which, hey, you know, we won't, I mean, they we're can, not going to tell their anyone box. that. They can get the box. We're not going to tell them that. But uh, additionally, they like, to send, they like to, in the same email, write what they think it is. And the number of people who are just like flat out wrong about it is like <laughs> so funny. I, I, don't think it, I don't think anyone has emailed yet with the correct thing without, mm. you know, seen the box in person but um i think i i've seen a couple of people not in like comments and stuff not like public comments but i think i think brian has said he someone has sent him what he what they think yeah there's definitely the people right. that could be on the right track but we also you know uh i are not gonna wanna, validate i don't want to yeah give any uh the box if someone validate. did give me the 100 percent correct answer i would still write them as i have been which is just I cannot confirm or deny this yeah. is the uh, the truth of the puzzle mm. box. Playing it coy, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, we're super proud of it. The um, yeah, it looks great. Yeah, uh, it was a a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into it, but um, yeah, it exists now and will be shipping soon. Uh, yeah, uh, like the. The, it's it even says here on the the store that the first batch went quick, uh, but yeah. if you want one, you should order it now. Yeah, we're trying to work with the um, um, the manufacturer. Yeah, I shouldn't say too much well, about how all the process and stuff, but basically, long secrets. story short, we started. So I said we started everything back in February, which is true. But when it when we came up with the decision to do that puzzle box. Uh, that was earlier on as well. And then we started production on those like two months ago. Mm-hmm. And the production that started two months ago was what sold out in the first couple days there. Mm-hmm. So now we're, you know, working with them to make sure that we can, um, you know, keep Fulfill. producing enough for, uh, cause you know, yeah. we know it'll be a big in demand holiday thing. So, and it just, it takes a long time to put that stuff together. Um, uh, yeah, all those boxes are made by hand. So the the etching of the laser is done by a, a machine, but then the assembly of that whole box is done by uh, by hand. So that yeah. that was um, that's laser etch. Actually, this a very similar technique to what's done on the rogue's wall and the rogue's ring. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but all those pieces of the box are then put together carefully by hand, which is why it. Um, takes so long to make by the way if you want a hot exclusive i just dropped a link in chat and uh <laughs> this was this was obviously a very different direction but this is a prototype uh, uh, there you go. cover art for the deck that i i illustrated in the lobby of i think uh of, of the production company that brian used with hacking the system when he was doing voiceover for hanging the system for oh, wow. I think the original like one or two episodes. Oh right. Um, oh wow, so that's a long time ago. Yeah, um, like like I, I I had some thoughts, but then uh Is this pre Cord Killers? Because this looks like the Cord Killers logo. Yeah, this was before Cord Killers. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. We got your scraps. 
fun stuff. Uh, no, this is this looks great. Um, and oh, I I I just noticed the um, the uh, the suits nice. yeah. here on the on the wrist, uh, sort of like it, it kind of looked like a birthmark or something. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah, uh, I'm excited about it. I was I you know I shot uh, the B roll and the the video for that for the Arcana and um, it's I mean it's a nice uh, just it's a nice object to have like working the dials, uh, the the size of it. Uh, and the coin, the the coin is is nice and hefty. Uh, I think I think they're all uh, really fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, they. T- I I still can't believe how well it turned out. I it, it's you know those type of things, especially when you make such a big commitment like this. Like a lot of times, you know, we can go into a project and then just like pull the plug. But it was like this one needed to happen because of all the investment in it, and. Uh, you know when we've been slowly getting the different pieces coming together over the past month or so and yeah when that there was an original version of that box and that was already amazing and then we made a couple of tweaks to it to really you know make sure it was uh just right but yeah yeah, i think i think everyone who uh was working on the art for that did a did a great job and then um the uh Theory Eleven is actually producing the deck too, so they're they're uh, in charge of uh, making sure all everything ends up, you know, being top quality. Yeah, that um that that was a nice surprise when I found that out because you know we've we've had a lot of Theory Eleven decks come through here and they are all like really nice. I have the um the JJ Abrams one, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, the mystery box, mystery box deck, um, and that's that's fantastic. They they really do make some great stuff. So that's uh, it's really awesome that they they are working with us. Yeah, y'all guys got to sneak me one of those Arcana decks. Yeah. Oh, we will. Yeah, as soon as we we actually uh, have the final versions in, which should yeah. be um, should be next week, we <gasps> should have the uh, a final version of the deck in. Speaking of, because this this is this is related to it. What? Uh, uh, we you, if you if you saw the video uh, or if you've been to the store page, we have graphics of. Of you know of the cards, uh, you know, out and about, and uh-huh. actually, these are uh, John put these together. Ooh. Um, yeah. So I don't do much photo work, but uh, this was look my, out. But they 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 look great. Um, uh, let me see if I can make this bigger. Uh, and and they were a big help because people, you know, we were at this point with the video, and we still didn't have. I, uh, you know, we still didn't have the cards yet, and so we didn't have any photos of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and Brian wasn't totally sold on just using the straight graphic or the concept graphics that we had. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, and so John whipped these up in, like, a couple – like, not even a couple hours or so. Uh, 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 and they look great. They really are great. And they, uh, they're they believable, you know? Believe it. Yeah, so I, I well I put a little note because that was the other thing we were like, eh, do it, you know, it's not mm-hmm. the real cards, but uh, it's that'll be it's the actual it's the same designs that are being printed and yeah. the uh, I stuck a little note at the bottom there, but um, if you're concerned about that, I wouldn't be. They uh, again, Theory Eleven is producing this along with U.S. Playing Card Company is printing the cards, and um, you know after looking through all the proofs and and everything. Um, yeah, everything's shaping up to be pretty, pretty darn close to that. In fact, yeah. uh, we'll we'll have to see if it's worth putting new pictures together when the real cards come in. Oh, I'm sure that I'm sure it will be. Uh, Mac asked if there's hidden Diamond Club uh, references in the cards. If you look on one I of the think photos, there are. Yeah, if you look at one of the photos in the video, it's not on this on this the uh, store page. Uh, you can you can see some hints and at, at it. Wait a second. Hold on. Ch- okay. Show me one of the Diamond Club references. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me I don't. I don't believe you. There is. There is. Uh, it's. It's. It's hidden, and it's not like a straight diamond, uh, but it's definitely there. Okay. So I've got the video pulled up. Well, because I'm wondering if it's intentional too. Because I. A... So uh, here, here it is. Here's the graphic, and you can see it. Here, you got the brackets. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we got some of those there. Um, I don't know if the I'm... yeah. I wonder if because um, well, the designer we got mm-hmm. uh, 
you know, he wasn't a fan or anything. And so we, um, we, the cool thing about this deck too, is we gave him very free range in, in terms of like what details to put in. So like we were always noticing kind of new funky things in there. So, yeah, uh, but we've told him basically to research Brian and then, <laughs> and then put the deck together. So I wouldn't so be I'm, surprised I'm, if, if that's why it's there, but, um, yeah. but yeah, that's, uh, that's cool. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of really great little images, uh, in the card backs and, uh, uh, I think I think you're gonna really like them. Yeah, and I really like that um, that kind of key logo that he put together. Certain elements of this are actually kind of interesting because if if you look at it, we've actually been kind of using some of these other designs. That key logo, you know, that's kind of slowly become the front of the deck, you know, that we're showing the most often. It used to be kind of the skull we would show off. Yeah, and I still kind of see it flipped in my mind. Mm. Um, but yeah, this uh, this BB key logo is is something that kind of really stuck out. And then we also used um, there's uh, another very subtle BB logo that we we're uh, uh, we used on the uh, card throwing targets. Uh, right. So way those, back in yeah, yeah, it was like March or April or something like that. Yeah. So those originally had the sort of clover BBs in it. Yeah. So there you um, go. If you need proof yeah. that we were working on this well <laughs> well at a time, it's. <laughs> It's you can see elements of that design showing up earlier. Yeah, very cool. Arcana. Yep. Get it. Uh, what what's up next? What do we want to talk about next? Um, uh, we can do just this next one. It should be quick. Okay. I think. Uh, so this this was a question that came in from my dad. Oh. When I was talking to him, <laughs> uh, and he was data wag. Yeah, get a dad. Um, no data wag. And so. I, I I figured that John would have a, a good insight into this, I'm sure. Uh, who buys stuff at Scam Stuff? Is it is it largely just a magic community? Is it a largely fans of Brian? Is it a mixture of both? I, I imagine there's probably a small subset of people who kind of see it as a think geek sort of website where it's like, ah, there's just cool stuff there. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Who, who is who is the, the primary audience buying into so right now it's it's mostly the scam school audience is you know people who are watching the show mm-hmm. are the the same people who are getting stuff and um yeah we we've kind of done a, try to start exploring a little bit outside of that um right now we we want to focus on getting products that are good for um for our our audience since that's the ones that we know well and are already there to support us um so right now it's pretty much them and then uh you got uh you know as we get closer to the christmas time it's you know them and you know parents of the younger fans uh or girlfriends and boyfriends of the of the fans who are Mm -hmm. every christmas it's always so the email uh the emails get so much more fun to do i remember last year uh you know just helping people there's there's a, usually a lot of girlfriends trying to get their boyfriend something that they uh, I guess that they wanted to surprise him with, um, and you know there ends up being like all these special requests and kind of funny things and last minute like I don't know if I get, we'll get there before the holiday you know <laughs> like helping go in and make sure that the shipping rate you know gets to their location fast and it's cool because it's a time where you can give all those you know nice little touches to uh, make sure everyone gets it for the holidays. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's mostly, it's mostly fans and people who know the fans and, uh, yeah, we've done the certain things like the bump keys that we get a lot of random people on because, uh, we're one of the top results for getting bump keys Hmm. and we have the coolest design on bump keys. Thanks to Brant, uh, by far. So you get a lot of people who are like, well, which bump key do I get? Well, that one would look coolest on the keychain. So we get people who do that um that 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 bump key video um is still doing bonanza yeah the bump key um, video is one of our best videos as well i i think i looked because because i noticed that it was one that we kept getting comments on still mm-hmm. um and i think in the past i want to say the past month it has gotten over a hundred thousand views and this is the original bump key. The correct? original like eighteen minute bump key. Uh, the one where half the comments are people saying it's too long. Like <laughs> pick a lock in seconds, but the video is <laughs> ten <laughs> minutes long. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. Um, but 
and, and then all the, the other half like, is just people saying like you're, you're teaching criminals you're, you're teaching uh, criminals yeah. how to break into my house mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's great <laughs> it is i wanted to be like yeah we are <laughs> yes. deal with it we're changing our name to criminal educators. criminal college yeah criminal college oh, do yeah. crime the show <laughs> that sounds like an nbc uh like cop Cop drama. Do crime. Do crime. John Do. <laughs> uh, and his partner, crime. <laughs> crimes, yeah. Uh, well, that's cool. Uh, it's yeah. The the uh, the it yeah. So it, it's a lot of fans and and just people who know. Yeah, I think that's Brian. the bulk of it right now. It, it's always hard to tell too, because you know we don't have like a we don't have like an exit survey where you're mm-hmm. like, you know, how would you know the show? But so it's a lot. You can kind of tell by the emails though. So mm-hmm. you can tell how people phrase their email or like people usually will say if they're a fan or something like that, or, you know, um, and that always helps too, because, you know, uh, when they, when fans come with, you know, an issue they're having with a package, obviously anyone would be willing to help out. But um, they usually come with kind of a better attitude towards it, whereas, like, you know, there's a lot of bumpy orders where if some there's some issue with shipping or, uh, you know, you, you can tell when it's, like, not a fan who comes and emails. And yeah. it's, like, it's, it's just a different tone. And um, it's cool to work so directly with, a, you know, a fan base like Brian's who cares about the show because, uh, you know, they're no, they know that we're not like out to get them, and you know if they have a problem, we'll help help them sort through it. So, I am. It's always some nice, don't even friendly back and forths, but yeah, cool, mm. uh, very cool. Yeah, and that's really the thing with a uh, all kind of like, I don't know if you ever need to email customer support for something. If you're friendly about it, dude, like way better people, service. yeah, yeah, because like when when people end up being either ruder or something feels off or fishy then you you know you know to do more like checks on you know well well i better make sure i'm not just sending like a free set to whatever so you end up you know having have a lot more back and forth and just verify do a lot of verification whereas you know if someone comes to you and you're like this is my order number and this is the problem i had here's a photo and it's like i love the show and then it's like Oh, well, it's really easy to be be like, oh, okay, well, you're not trying to, yeah. you know, cause an issue or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Too much information. No, that's a hot hot tip. Hot tip. Be People nice. come to this show for what? all of the information. <laughs> we can never give them enough information. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, that's cool. Very cool. Um, wh- uh, what do we want to talk about now? Uh, um, we, we, we got the demo. Uh, we, do you want to talk about behind the scam? Really briefly, sure. I, I have uh, no comment about this. <laughs> but, that's that's fine. Yeah, you don't have to. Uh, well, so um, just to the couple dozen people who watch us on Vessel, they've noticed that behind the scam now goes up a week early on Vessel, mm-hmm. um, and uh, uh, it's it's just it, it's very obvious from the way that we're releasing them that the giveaways are based on the YouTube episodes. So the people on Vessel get a an early preview sort of of what is coming up next week um but the giveaways and schedules and stuff work on the youtube schedule yeah so if you're on mm-hmm. vessel and see it and there's a new product you actually will not be able to purchase it yet so yes but you will be getting a preview to see what's coming up the next week and um, so in the case of arcana it would be like oh i know that you know that's what's going to be the next thing and i try to right. put I, I i i uh I, I try to go back into vessel and put the links once stuff is launched um, uh, because a lot of times that stuff isn't, that link doesn't even exist, mm-hmm. uh, before the day of, um, so it, you'll usually go see, oh, Arcana will be available at scamstuff.com or something. So, um, uh, you can, you can go back there and check for that stuff, but, uh, I just wanted to give people a heads up because, uh, I know for the Arcana one, we got a couple of comments in Vessel saying, oh, I don't see it, um, or it's not up yet. Um, and then I know, uh, in, in that week, uh, we had a comment on YouTube asking about it. So I just wanted to make it, let everybody know that that's kind of how that's working Yeah. Uh, for now. And uh, we, we went a while with, with, you know, just regular scam schools on Vessel. Um, and then we were told, like, no, like, all the stuff has to be up. 
Yeah. Um, which was tough just because, you know, behind the scam is so time oriented. But it, it sounds That's why like we skipped a week too. So, yeah. Because we needed to get yeah. back on. So it sounds like you guys kind of found a groove that they can get you through that. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. It'll actually, uh, it'll, yeah. it'll all work out. It was, it was a little stressful to begin with. But, yeah. uh, and it's, it's a little bit of an awkward solution, but it works for the time yeah. being. Um, and hopefully, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of the way it's got to work right now. Yeah. Uh, but that's, that's that. It's just a heads up. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you're getting exclusive, you're getting an exclusive preview. Um, basically that's yeah. what we should rename it when it's on vessel exclusive previews yeah. behind the exclusive <laughs> behind the exclusives. <laughs> um, speaking of vessel. Yeah. Kind of, uh, ve- uh, 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 uh Brian, B- Brian Brushwood. I guess that is up on vessel. That is huh. a vessel thing. Uh, so yeah. the, he, he's doing, he, he's back from dance from LA. He's, he and Dance Showdown is premiered and it's starting to come out, uh, which is a new development since last month, I believe. Yeah. And uh, have have you have either of you actually seen any of it? Dance Showdown. No, not yet. I guess all the YouTube release will be my your preferred my uh, mm-hmm. uh, my first uh, viewing of it, unless it's yeah. up on um, you know one of our secret places to watch videos uh <laughs> well no but uh it, it goes so the new episodes come out on friday on vessel and then that episode comes out on tuesday on youtube so Got it's it. because it's on tuesday it's kind of a night attack thing where mm-hmm. they'll watch it and poke fun at brian uh but in uh the most recent episode in the the uh i want to say i haven't seen it yet but this is what i've been told in the last vessel episode that just come came out it was announced that brian and Bryn were the fan the fan favorites oh of the previous episode nice yeah and uh uh i think i think brian is now like really wanting to double down on voting getting people to actually vote uh for dance showdown uh hmm. i forgot there was voting involved yeah so i've seen, seen one or two episodes Mm-hmm. but yeah it's it's like a pretty decent you know it's a reality competition right, show yeah. um and it, it it's really it's pretty it's well made um and uh uh some of the talent on there uh uh, uh gabby the, the uh, hashtag team gabby uh they the that first episode is uh dance charades so dietrich has got saw that part yeah. uh signs behind uh uh the person who's watching and the other person has to act out the um, do the, the dance, dance style on yeah. the sign. Uh, Brian got three, and Team Gabby got seventeen or something ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they just ran through those like half of those dance moves I hadn't yeah. heard of. I was like, what? Yeah, some of them I, I was like, oh, I, I need to look this up. Um, but it, it it's there's a lot of talent, and I think. Uh, It'll be an interesting. I probably wouldn't have watched it otherwise. I feel like, yeah. Um, but I think it's interesting uh, as as a thing to watch. Yeah. yeah, it's a thing that's out there. I was, I was, I always think about that moment that Brian danced with Jeff Gersman. That always makes me happy every time the show comes up. Like that's my favorite Brian dancing moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, Man, what a time. Yeah, what a time to be alive. <laughs> back in, back in the day. Back in the day. Back uh, in 2011. Was that really 2011? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Maybe early 2012. Maybe early 2012. It was before I started working here, and I started working here in December of 2012. Okay, so then yeah, that would have. Been... Oh really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. That was a long time ago then. I always feel like Brian just works here. It's coming up on three forever. years. Yeah. Crazy. I'm coming up on year one. Nice. Crazy. Yeah. What? 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 Uh, You're still the new guy, though. I so know. it's all right. You'll always be the new guy until there's a new, new guy. Yeah. I need yeah. a petition for a new, <laughs> new guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm. So, uh, uh, Halloween, it's October. Ooh. <laughs> uh, do you guys, are you guys into Halloween? 
Do you guys do Halloween? Halloween's cool. I wish I dressed up. I haven't really, but I've always, I've just never had, like had the time to sit down and say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a costume. Yeah. But I've always been kind of interested by it. John. Yeah, I think it's a cool, uh, it's a cool holiday for sure. Do you dress up? Um, you seem like someone who probably like dresses up. Yeah, you know, uh, it's weird because kind of similar to what Brant was saying, like I. I do want to dress up, with, and I usually do because I'll usually go to a Halloween party or something like that. So I know I'm going to one this year, and I don't know if I'll – I don't think I'll have time to put something new together, especially now with the store. It's like this is always our – Oh, yeah, because the like, holiday season. <laughs> it's the worst time to build a costume <laughs> for me. So uh, I'll probably end up going as, uh, as something that I already have a built costume for or something like that. Mm. So, um, so, yeah, I'll probably do that. But, yeah, I mean, growing up, Halloween was always uh were you guys did you guys go trick or treating as kids or I I we did go trick or treating um but I kind of was never in love with 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 getting dressed up for Halloween. Really? Yeah. Uh, you too, Brian, or you were giving a thumbs up. I don't know if that was too Sorry. getting dressed Visual up gags. something else. Great. No. <laughs> but uh uh Yeah, well I was just thinking um you know, my sisters and I would always dress up for Halloween and then go and get our candy. And then I uh, would always get home and, like, organize all the candy. And then mm. it was, like, really good stuff went in one pile and the kind of, like, the stuff that was, like, whatever. Mm-mm. You know, like the small Butterfinger. But then on the other side, you had, like, the bigger candy bars and the good stuff. And I would always save all of that, like, good stuff. So I would, like, you know, just not eat it until it was, like, the right moment for it and then i always have all this halloween candy left until easter when you get more candy anyway so Mm -mm. i just kind of ate it all in a night oh well that's why i was asking because most people do that most people do that or eat it quickly no yeah but i mean one night's a bit of an exaggeration but i ate it all within like a week yeah pretty quickly yours wasn't did not last until easter mine always lasted until easter like i would just you know Hmm. not want to i wouldn't want it to be gone like i just couldn't and I, i'm always the same with everything like that like yeah. with the, even with um video games where um you know you get in in game currency for you know whatever game it is and i would just would never spend any of it and mm-hmm. then at the game i just have like a bazillion you know kind of or whatever that. and it's yeah. like mm-hmm. it's not even real money <laughs> like there's no <laughs> benefit like all i did was not play with the awesome guns because i didn't you know mm-hmm. i didn't pay for the uh stuff but Mm -mm. but also i i think there's probably something to be said about the fact that like when i went trick-or-treating and stuff i didn't go to a ton of houses and stuff like first of all ain't nobody got time for that second of all like i have to talk to strangers i have to deal with people i have to like go around and like haggle for candy and shit like what Great. Did you do you have any siblings? Like, did you go with like uh, brothers and sisters or friends? I, or? I have a brother and sister, but I'm so much older than them that it never really. Got about. it. Okay. And they live elsewhere. But. Got it. Okay. So, so yeah. So, did you ever go? You usually just went by yourself trick or treating because. So we would always go in like a huge group, and then all it is is you show up, and then you just all take your candy and go. Like there wasn't much like individual attention on us from the house owner yeah which i could see it's, it's not I, I don't know what trade negotiations you get into at, at oh. these houses <laughs> but uh it's the 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 standard protocol is trick-or-treat and candy then get candy. Is serious business dude you gotta you gotta optimize like if you're gonna go to a lot of houses you gotta you gotta you gotta optimize like maximum candy per house and like what's appropriate for maximum candy per house they, but well, I mean, what are you doing? What are you Texas, saying to get? Are you saying, can I can I actually just get two, two candies, please? Now you just got to feel it out. Uh, See, well, it's growing crazy. up, they would always like, um, at least where I went trick or treating, they always be like, you can have two pieces, and then you grab like what they tell you. Like there was yeah. never like a it like wasn't... awkward like, oh, I sh- can I grab five at this house or. Yeah. Grab two pieces, knock the bowl on the Are ground. They, yeah. <laughs> give me three next time, lady. What about the houses that give you like celery and pretzels? That never you, happened. Maybe, yeah, I feel like that <laughs> wasn't a thing that I encountered either. Where, where did you grow up, Bryce? Uh, Virginia. Huh. Yeah. I, yeah, I grew up in Pennsylvania. I, I wonder if that's like an area thing at all. It could be. 
For me, the big a lot of pretzel houses growing up. The biggest epiphany was like early high school when uh, my dad was like, "Hey, you should give candy out to you know trick or treaters." Mm-mm. And then, like as your you, job, yeah. Like and then thing. you realize that I can just stay home and eat candy all night, yeah. And then turn oh, off then, the light, yeah. yeah. And then just watch movies and eat candy, yes. And that's the best Halloween. You uh, go buy candy and you eat candy. You get exactly what you want. But then you get those kids who just keep ringing the doorbell till someone comes, because they know Good someone's luck, in kid. there. They could see the flickering TV. But nah, if the watch light's it in a off, different room. If the porch light is off, you don't ring the. That that's there's that's one, bad parenting. That's the rule to Halloween. Yeah, there's only there are only two rules. It there's ends at eight o'clock, and porch lights. Yeah. The other thing you can do is put an empty bowl out that says, "Please only take two. So the kids come, they're like, but an empty "Oh, bowl. No, no, uh, another candy. kid came and just took all of it, and then they give up." Instead of ringing the doorbell. I like the way you're thinking, John. Because then you're like, oh, the person here clearly bought candy for Halloween, but now it's gone. Mm-hmm. Right? The uh, Smart. The past few years, uh, back back home in Virginia, uh, I uh, I would I would actually sit outside with my mom and just we would talk and give out candy to the kids. Uh, we didn't we, we actually didn't get a lot of trick or treaters the last couple years that I was there um, and we always had a bunch of extra candy um, so we were always just like have as much as you would like yeah we were kind of in the same boat yeah yeah I don't think I've ever in Austin I've always been in an apartment and I I don't think I've ever gotten any trigger shooters here yeah I had a weird it's more of a house thing that's that, uh, that's uh, the the conclusion I came to is because like last year I was like uh, do I get candy do, should I leave a bowl out is that creepy I don't, I don't think I should do that. Jesus, Bryce, don't give drugs to the kids. I wasn't going <laughs> to give them tr- I, See, if, I did. if apartment complexes were known for doing it, though, too, it's like, man, that's where you would rake in all the candy, right? Yeah. Because then you can get, like, in the time it would take to walk to two houses, you can do, like, a full complex. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my apartment complex is doing, like, a Halloween happy hour, and they're doing it tonight, I think, on a Monday night. Hmm. Not <laughs> on Halloween, and I'm like, this is this is this doesn't need to happen. Don't don't. Weird. Yeah, Halloween's weird. It's cool though. It is weird. Uh, I watch a lot of movies during Halloween. Do you? That's a fun tradition. Halloween movies or just movies? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah spooky movies. Spooky movies. Do you have like a favorite go to? Uh, Shining is a classic, of course. There you go. Uh, mm-hmm. The House of the Devil is great. That was that was the one that I wrote really picked up on last year. Um. Whiplash a couple of times just for yeah. safety. Why not? That could be scary in the right context. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got blood. It does. Spoilers. Whoops. Sort of. Uh oh. But how does it happen? You'll not know. <laughs> Gotta watch to find out. Um, speaking of the holidays, um, uh, were you guys thinking of doing anything Smooth. for for fuck off for the <laughs> <laughs> for the uh, for 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 uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas? Because uh, last year. Last year, I didn't go home for either, and I felt bad. Hmm. Um, uh, but also, it was like I had just moved down here, and I didn't have any money, and I wasn't, I didn't have a job yet. So right, yeah. They kind of didn't. Yeah, and Aust- Austin airfare is uh, not the friendliest to the wallet. Not always. Even Southwest is pretty expensive. Hmm. Um, uh, but but uh, like, cause your 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 family's in Dallas. Dallas and Oklahoma. And Oklahoma, that's right. Yeah. Um, so those are kind of road trippy sort of yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, trips for you. Are, are you mm-hmm. planning on – have you – do you guys even – is this too early? Does that nobody have plans yet? For, for me, way too early. Okay. So let me tell you how vacations work for the, for, for, the Hughes for Brant Hughes okay. as an individual. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I took a small vacation last week, about a four- or five-day vacation, mm-hmm. and I took that vacation because – Brian was out of town, and my work schedule changes so frequently, or at least has traditionally, Mm -hmm. that there's literally no way to plan for anything that's more than a week out. Mm -hmm. No way. So Christmas, that's a – I don't even know what that means. (laughs) Like, that's not even a word. Thanksgiving, I can start thinking about, but I really can't plan for anything until it gets, like, right before, and – 
like when Brian went out of town, I thought, well, then there's literally no way I can shoot anything here, which mm. means I, for the most part, don't have to do anything physically here mm. so I can work from Dallas. So I'm going to seize this opportunity. That's why when it was so great when Brian was shooting hacking the system because he was gone for months. Yeah. And so I just had to be here for night attack and doing the physical switching. And then I could just be wherever, whenever. Yeah. Uh, so I took a bunch of vacations during then. Mm. Um, Slacker. Yeah. No. No. Uh, uh, working vacations. That's right. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it's it's the kind of thing where I just I take it day by day and I kind of figure it out as soon as I know exactly what's going to happen when. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, John, because uh, you you your family isn't local or isn't yeah, nearby. Yeah. So well. I I usually go home for Christmas and I'll usually go somewhere local for Thanksgiving. Mm. Uh, this year's kind of different because so last year uh, Kelsey and I got married and then we spent Christmas with my family. So then this year we're gonna spend Christmas with her family. Mm. So I know I'll be in Texas. So um, so I won't be doing big traveling then. So it's I don't really have anything planned as far as that goes, but. I'm on, I'm honestly not sure what our I don't know if her family's sure about their planes yet, but I know we'll do something with them, uh, and I'll just be driving down there. So Mm-mm. yeah, because they're they're in yeah. Texas. Um, because I I told my family that I when when was I I was back home at some point. Hold on, I was back home for over the summer for uh my niece's first birthday. First birthday? First. First, I think. Important first. detail. Whatever. And uh, 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 I told him that I would come I would come back home for either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, and I haven't, I guess I haven't decided yet. Um, but like Thanksgiving I know is going to be on a Thursday. And that is, would be be okay because that would be on the other side of a scam school but uh mm-hmm. uh wafflelophagus is calling me a neglectful uncle or right, she got born she was born like three months before i moved out here so super inconsiderate on her behalf. <laughs> yeah if she wanted me to care she could have come six a uh, couple weeks early i don't know the weird thing know. about people's first birthday is it's really their second birthday oh my god right so <laughs> It is. It's true, though. I. It always bothers me. Does it? Yeah. yeah it's not their first birthday. They had a birthday when they were born, right? Isn't? Is it not your birthday with the day you're born? I'm. It is literally day it's of birth. Literally, your only birthday. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go. So it should be their second birthday, right? Well, isn't it like programming where you start with zero and you count up from there? On right. Your second birthday, you turn one. Mm. <laughs> that's why it's not that way because everyone would be confused not everyone's as intelligent as us so <laughs> I think have to, true. you have to dumb it down lowest yeah. common denominator guys uh-huh. it doesn't I don't know if this is an urban legend or not but doesn't China count that way with ages I feel like they do oh here they're saying the, it's the anniversary of one's birth is the birthday so oh, well, right, in, that case, birth, in that case I can birth, be okay with it your birth mm-hmm. date is the day you were born because that's like at the year there you go yeah. No, I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah, honestly, it's something that uh, I it's not. I haven't lost sleep over this before. I was just <laughs> actually I'm just worried. thinking of it now. <laughs> you, you got me worried. And about I thought it. it would be funnier to play it as if it was something that always bothered me. Mm-hmm. But no, that's good. Uh, I'm glad said, we got to the bottom. I can't of read this. who said it. I can't read who said it in the chat. But Tin back. Uh, yeah. Uh, so so holiday stuff. I I think I I, I guess I'll go and kind of have to play it by ear, but. Because I know I'd have to buy airfare, I kind of need to decide two weeks out, at least, you know? All right, um, so what's better, Thanksgiving or Christmas? There's one answer. There's one right answer. Uh, Christmas. Because yeah. I'm going to see all, all the family. Christmas is way better than yeah. Thanksgiving, across <laughs> the board. Well, not across the board, though. Because In board. terms of the food across that you can the get. Board. On the terms of the food that you can get. I mean, get. we have turkey. We have turkey on Christmas. Yeah, but it's not the same as, it's not the same as Thanksgiving turkey. Come on. Mm. I mean, we've established I hate all food, so oh, Thanksgiving okay. is literally my least favorite holiday. Oh, that's right. Hey, uh, and then, ha- wait, is Halloween your favorite because candy is basically not food? Dog. <laughs> now you're talking. 
Yeah, I really like Halloween. Yeah. Uh, Christmas is better. Christmas, though. yeah. Christmas is top shelf. Because uh, everybody will be somewhere for Christmas. For Thanksgiving, I'm sure there will be people who are like, I'm going to go to Vegas again for Thanksgiving or something, which they've done weird before. Yeah. That's my weird. my my parents are like weirdly in love with Vegas. My <laughs> the whole family, they just like, uh, <laughs> I don't know why that place is a shithole. Hey, the, no, the, I, uh, the ticket to Vegas would probably be cheaper than, than home for you. You can all uh, go to Vegas. I'm not going to go meet my family in las vegas and have thanksgiving why not (laughs) i i'm i'm not really interested uh in las vegas vegas is kind of dumb yeah (laughs) especially especially as like a a, a, a agoraphobic like (laughs) right super tight walleted like doesn't Guy, drink. Yeah, yeah, like there's nothing to offer me in Vegas, really. Brent, did I ever tell you my story of when Brian and I went to Vegas and uh, I gambled for the first time? Oh, maybe. The story? I want to hear that. I don't like, really remember. I want to hear it. Though. It's such the me version of the story. It's not a good story, because, but it's, <laughs> it's it's good if you know me because, uh, like, uh, I didn't really want to do it, mm-hmm. and then, but Brian was like, "Oh, you got to do it." Sounds like and Brian. So was, yeah, yeah, right. So and then uh, he was like, "Look, all you do is set up these rules, so you don't, you know, you of don't end up he's losing money." Tell you about a bunch of rules. And I was like, "I was like, oh, you know what? Okay, that's good because by those rules, I'll, I'll either lose, you know, however I think I put in like five dollars or something, and then, mm-hmm. and then I'll either lose five dollars and then just say I did it once." Or I'll make more than five dollars, so that's fine. Yeah. So I did that, and then um, and then so uh, I played, and I was actually up like a lot for a, for a while, but then I started going back down, and uh, I was like, all right, I'm out. Mm-hmm. And then the people at the table got mad at me. They were like, you can't, <laughs> you're supposed to stick it the whole way through. I was like, what? Like bs what? like maybe fuck that noise yeah like you know maybe we'll end up homeless tomorrow like i don't see like, this, is, this is why people have gambling problems like yeah. but um, uh yeah i, I resisted yeah. it and then i ended up uh i think i ended up like uh making 25 cents is what it is <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a john yeah, ending a, <laughs> yeah um i uh i am afraid i'm a I, i'm really stubborn uh especially when okay uh, when if I like lose or am wrong, and uh, I feel like that is not a good combination in Vegas. Mm. Uh, yeah, sounds like a good recipe for a spiral. Yeah, uh, definitely. Because I would, I, I, I know that I could uh, get wound up to the point of like putting more money down just to spite. Like in my head, I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna. To, I'm gonna fucking win and show all these. Losers. I just need to put another hundred dollars in, mm-hmm. uh, and I know that that's not gonna work. Yeah, you'll end up in in one of those underground cities they have in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Oof, oof. Old Vegas. Yeah. But well, not. They've also old, got one of those in old. L.A. Yeah, there are a lot of underground cities in major populated areas. I feel like I, I am no longer on the same page as what a, an underground city is. Like in the like in the tunnels and sewers and stuff. Like they got people like setting up like big villages and camps and shit in there. It's crazy. Oh, like oh, like a homeless camp or something. Yeah, but like under the city. Well, yeah. It's great. It's insane. I'm not gonna say it's great. It's great. Okay. Brand peak of the- human civilization. <laughs> Waffle Opticus asked who was giving me a hard time, and it was it was not the dealers; it was the other people I was playing with. Were you playing craps? Fra- because well, that seems it, like the type of game where people will give you crap. For no, it was it was blackjack, so and I I don't believe uh, I might be wrong about this, but oh. but I don't believe the other people at the table were affected by me leaving. Like I don't mm. think their pots were actually affected by it. Yeah, not really. But um, but that's why I was like. It was like, dude, what does it matter? <laughs> like, but, but that it... guy was just mad because I don't know. I feel like he was mad because I had the self control to stop. But, mm. <laughs> but uh, if, uh, if they're knows? counting cards, it, it makes it easier to have more people playing because more cards. Oh, are that's true. Maybe, 
No, this guy he didn't. screwed see, up the count, he, John. He, I, my memory of this, he did not seem like he was. Uh, he was seemed like he was in Vegas and he was going to be all there, you know, mm. gambling all day, but whatever. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, so I've heard from a little birdie named our show doc. Uh, you're working on a new computer, Brant. I am. What's uh, what's 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 that? Uh, you know, my computer is so I've, I've got a I've got a I've got a MacBook right now. Like yeah. it's a it's a fairly recent one, 2013. Okay. Late 2013. Uh, and it's top of line as far as MacBooks go, and that's what I use all my video editing and all my creative stuff. And uh, you know, it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It works. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's a laptop, and laptops can only go so far. Yes. Um, I also have a, a, PC, a PC that's running Windows 7, mm-hmm. and uh, it's probably seven years old at this point. Oh, wow. Ooh. It was close to kind of top of the line at the time. Sure, but, uh, but that seven was, years ago. That was a while back, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, like, Full on, spend some good money, which I know you you got a computer not too long ago. Did you go yeah. the building route? Did you go like um, pre-made? Well, like what, what kind of stuff did you? So I got a um I I, I bought my computer through Cyber Power PC, um which is one of those like uh custom build places, uh like you can set specific parts and your case and all, and they'll put it together for you. Mm-hmm. Um, and I ended up kind of going for top of the line. I think I spent spent about I want to say twenty three hundred all told, Ooh. but I think that might have included my monitor. It was okay. it was it was going to be around two grand, um, and that was for a top of the line computer. With I got a nine eighty, uh, and those had just come out, mm-hmm. um, uh, and that's that's been great because I also was going from working on my laptop to a desktop and. The 980 is like butter, especially with video editing, especially with like the multicam stuff that we do with a lot of the After Effects um, uh, 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 dynamic link mm-hmm. compositions. Um, uh, and and going through CyberPower PC was nice because uh, we, uh, we bought a computer for my dad through them before, and they had a lot of nice things that I probably was probably outside of my skill range. So they... Um, uh, it's it's got uh, uh, I think it's it's got water cooling and stuff, which is like my my knowledge of building a PC is based on you know ten or fifteen years ago. So uh, I what I don't I don't know idea what you do with a water cooling PC. My knowledge on PC building is based on two days ago. Okay, so uh, uh, well at least you're coming from a position where water cooling a PC is pretty standard now uh but but yeah so so they you know they they had a lot of nice little extra stuff like um uh they they uh uh uh, uh what is it zip tied the wiring so that it's there's not a lot of clutter inside the case when mm-hmm. i want to go add stuff um uh that i was able to get uh hard drives and processors and stuff all at the same time i didn't have to deal with getting a processor and applying thermal paste and figuring out a mo- motherboards are the most confusing things to me because I have no idea what I need as far as a motherboard and like compatibility stuff. So, so knowing that I could just like send that money off and it would come back as a fully formed PC was, was nice for me. Hmm. Uh, is that, is that what you're thinking? Are you thinking of building it yourself or are you going to, I was thinking um, of just building it. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I need to, I need to do research on on parts and stuff. Like I have just a real rough layout kind mm. of in mind. Uh, but I would I would really love to be able to do video editing over there, um, and if it's able to, you know, play games and stream a little bit on the side as well, that mm-hmm. would be nice because I can't really do that on my current PC. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I'm gonna look into it. And I'm I'm definitely can can your current PC already bump Rocket League specs up all the way? My current PC can, you know, it it has problems like loading into the map with decent specs. 
Um, but then once it kind of gets acclimated, it can sort of run fine. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was trying to look for more reasons for you just to be like, <laughs> I just fell flat <laughs> on trying to get you like, my follow up was just going to be like, see, that's the reason you need to just go for it now. Yeah. Um, is it is is your current computer the type of thing where you could just upgrade and just get a new video card and a processor? I could not really. No. Okay. I mean pretty much throughout like everything is, you know, five generations ago mm -hmm. on, on all parts, you know. Yeah. Um you know, one upgrade is gonna lead to me needing to upgrade anything attached to that and you know, it's mm -hmm. uh you would probably have some degree of a domino effect on that uh the one thing i will say is uh going through cyber power pc because uh, i you know i spent i spent some time looking at parts and stuff uh, and it ended up being uh pretty comparable price wise to have them build it than for me to build it hmm. um uh you know outside of the the extra stuff like uh the the uh the wires that tying and uh, uh, some of the like uh, they put uh, gaskets on like some of the fans to keep it the sound down um, like some of that kind of upsell stuff but like the price the parts for price the the price for parts was uh, very much similar to just buying them on on their own hmm. so all right something yeah. to think about. It would be fun. Yeah. It would be a fun experience, right? Just like getting everything and then. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been told together. they really only fit together one way, so it would be kind of hard to mess things up too bad. Yeah. Um, um, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I always. Worry. And I kind of just want that cred, you know? Sure. Be like, I built a PC. Mm -mm. You know, <laughs> and, then, my, my... and then they send you your card in the mail. Yeah. You know, PC builder. Yeah, you have to you have to join the 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 the, the coalition. The you have to yeah. pay in for your registration, and then right, and then, and then like, I'm a PC builder. <laughs> there is something about that though, when you you know feel accomplished about putting together yeah. something like that. So, yeah. and then um, you know like how everything works a little bit better. Yeah, and you kind of probably when something yeah. goes wrong, you know, can probably troubleshoot it better too. Yeah. Hmm. Get Maybe. in them guts. Yeah. Um, though I feel, I don't know. I, I feel like we're all pretty computer savvy here. I'm, I, I'm getting really defensive now because I know how to fix my computer. I'm a software person. Sure. I don't know shit about hardware. Like, okay. I am, this is all a learning, learning experience for me. Like, hmm. what do these pieces do? Like, I kind of get a rough idea, sort of just you know, by being around that culture. But like, I am a, like, if it doesn't work, I'm calling my dad cause he's an IT guy and he probably knows how to fix it. But I like, I, there's, there's, there's a lot in there. For yeah. That, that's more of the boat that I'm in. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. I, I've always been kind of quicker to learn software stuff, but then I just haven't had a lot of experience going into, you know, taking it apart and putting it back together to really understand how it all works. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I mean like you said I kind of know what stuff does, but more or less. Yeah. Then yeah. yeah, then maybe building it yourself or with, you know, some of the, a lot of people in the chat room are, are saying offering help. Um uh and, and you probably you, you have plenty of people who you could fall back on and ask questions. Yeah. About. I the only, the the two things that always worry me about building a PC is uh water cooling stuff. Uh, cause I just, I have no idea. Uh, and, and you put water in it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. France, like live stream of him, <laughs> like putting the water. <laughs> He's just got like a water yeah, a bucket, <laughs> a bucket. And he just dumps all this water on it. Please. I made it through a flood. My, yeah. my computer was water cooled for a few <laughs> weeks. Thank you very much. Um, and thermal paste. Thermal paste is an important that thing. That sounds fancy. Yeah. It's also important. Uh, because if you do it wrong, you will fry your processor. The water cool the <laughs> water cooling reminds me of when my my I don't know if you guys ever had milk toast. It's like a kind of sugary like 
take a, it's like a French toast type of thing, I guess. But is it I is really it French it, toast that you but, just didn't fry, and then you dump in milk? I don't. Well, dump- I you'll have to look it up. But th- <laughs> all I know is my sister would go to this friend's house and always have milk is it toast, cold? <laughs> and she would think, "Oh, it's the greatest thing." And uh, huh. she went to make it herself one day and just poured milk on toast <laughs> and then wouldn't eat it. And then we were just laughing at her about it. It was pretty awesome. That's pretty uh, great. I never realized milk toast was – I mean, I, I thought – I feel like we should look it up now. Okay. I will look up milk toast. I feel like um, milk toast also probably has some weird, like, double meaning too. Yeah. Well, safe search on. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. So milk toast is a – Breakfast food consisting of toasted bread in warm milk with sugar and butter. Uh, refers to toast that has been dipped in milk-based white sauce. Yeah, so there's more stuff that's part of the sauce. So I guess she just poured the milk on. Oh, my God. Well, so... Because, yeah, you need sh- yeah sugar and butter. Yeah. That makes sense. That would be a lot better. But so you know the term milk toast, right? Uh... I mean, no, not really. I don't uh, think so. Which which refers to uh, uh, someone who is uh, sort of plain, meek, timid, is what Wiktionary says. Uh, well, it can also go. be a noun. Um, yeah, I I didn't realize milk toast was a real. Uh, it's a real breakfast delicacy. food, apparently. Wow. Yep. Yeah. You just dump milk on stuff. Put milk <laughs> on it. <laughs> milk cool toast. Is that how you make milk steak too? It's just you just dump milk and stuff. Just put milk on it. Yeah. Most people don't know that. <laughs> really couldn't be simpler. It's in the name. It's like it's it's the like the instructions are the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh yeah. Milk toast. Uh water cooling. Um <laughs> do we do we have a pup date? Uh it's been wh- there's been a lot of changes since the past month at the uh at the halfway house yeah a lot of new stuff new shelves yeah we've had our we had our first or actually our second pallet officially went out we'll be having a lot more with the holidays a, a pallet in the shipping world is uh basically if you bring something to ups you know you, you uh, drop it off and sometimes you can get a discount if you have a lot of business with them or whatever but um generally it takes a while to get their ground and is expensive but if you are shipping a lot of things to one place you can actually get a service to come out and pick up an entire giant wood pallet of stuff mm-hmm. so we're having those go out now which is exciting because it makes us feel like a real business yeah uh, nice. so well, that's I mean, cool yeah. very stocking cool. up for that for that winter rush oh yeah holiday yeah, season yeah, uh and the place looks great with the shelves um yeah you know we we went there after uh, the scam school shoot uh, a couple of weeks ago and it really it looks a lot better now that it has shelving in it um, and I'm sure it must be more way way more helpful for you to actually have a place to put things yeah yeah it's already getting crowded but a lot of it too is because we need to get stuff back out so yeah. stuff that usually isn't intended to just stick around it's usually intended to come in be assembled ship out so mm-hmm. right now there's a lot of stuff in there that needs to be assembled We've got some uh, some before footage that maybe one of these days we'll we'll dig into a before and after. Yeah, yeah, for Ooh. sure. Especially when uh, other stuff comes together. Yeah. Uh, other uses for the building. Right. That's all we're gonna say about that. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's uh, we had a pretty short topic list. Is there anything uh, video wise that we want to talk about uh, uh, with with stuff that that came out? Uh, uh, Your one of the ads you did this month, uh, the yeah. um, the, the sort uh, of football the, commentary, yeah, kind of thing. Uh, that was w- that was one that really got a really good reaction on YouTube, mm-hmm. like in the comments, yeah, um, because it was very like a backdoor ad, yeah, yeah, a very integrated uh, thing. Yeah, that was that was that was a real like, real just. Nah. Here you go. I guess um, I guess I can do an ad this way. Uh-huh. Uh, it was it was just like I don't want to shoot anything, so I know how to make this real easy. Um, well, yeah. it, it came out really, really, uh, really well. Yeah, 
Yeah, he came uh, out pretty nice. I was I was watching when that episode came out, and I was like, "What is he? What is he doing? This is not. <laughs> he doesn't need to be explaining anything right now. This is what. Oh, hmm. it's not. Uh, this is really great. I, I think it probably elicited some some of the same reactions that like I really love the reactions that people got when uh, when we did that uh, reckless hobo ad where um, like the feed kind of cuts out mm-hmm. and there were a lot of people who were like ah, I, th- I thought something was wrong with my phone I thought my phone shut down uh, stuff like that yeah. I thought it was real fun uh, yeah we've had some of that with um, uh, with that house of cards sketch which starts off with an error message or an error a windows error sound Mm-hmm. Um, and some of the YouTube parody ones that start with like the up next sort of uh, graphics yeah. from YouTube um, yeah and something also that we did this month was the uh, infinite birthday card is that what they're called now? yeah speaking of birthdays uh, what 20 minutes ago <laughs> um, yeah. yeah the infinite birthday card is uh, pretty pretty rad um, we had a really good time filming the uh the footage for that behind the scam yeah yeah it's it's we kind of took a different take on the behind the scam because we were focused on destroying it whereas if you if you buy it for someone it's it's i think a lot funnier than that but it doesn't show on camera as well because Mm -hmm. it really will just play the song over and over again and they're not going to destroy the gift you gave them so they will instead just have to live with it for hours upon hours yeah, that um, was really my favorite angle of it. Is like you give someone a really heartfelt card, you write a nice message in it, and then you give them this weird, uh, like, uh, uh, what is it called? A uh, um, like an ultimatum. Like you have to, if you want it to stop being annoying, you have to rip up yeah. this really precious thing I've given you. Um, yeah. So uh, it's it's good, and then. Um, uh, Soon we're gonna put up a, a Christmas version of that as well. Oh, so that's right. That'll be cool. That, that's right. It should be up later this week. I, I didn't want to do it too uh, too, too far out from Christmas. Yeah. But uh, now you know once it'll definitely be up starting in November, and I'll probably put it up this week. But very cool. I don't know people get mad at you when you're like putting stuff Christmas stuff up before Halloween. So well, but you kind of yeah. have to. That's that's with, the thing with, with online with, stuff. Yeah, you you have to make it available early because like. Yeah, because you have to ship it. Mm-hmm. But then in in-store stuff, too, I mean, most stores are pretty much all switched over by now. Wait, really? We're being invaded. Uh, what's what's happening here? Hi, we're doing a show here. Hi. Oh, uh, oh okay. Who was it? That was uh, Jaime. Oh, it's Jaime. Jaime's here for, <laughs> for court I thought killers. it was Brian. I was like... I was like, that was a really weird... <laughs> yeah, well, Brian would be like, what's up, fuckers? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, Jaime's here for court killers. Um spoilers oh shit um Let's go ahead and roll it in at spoiler <laughs> time because now we know who's on core killers <laughs> uh all right any any other last things you guys want to talk about uh we we got a, a a brief little bit of feedback um oh that's right that's right yeah, yeah. from kenny who who uh, uh s- sent me a comment over on facebook um and I have my own thoughts on this, but I thought I'd bring it up on the show because it's kind of about the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was wondering if maybe it would make sense to uh, occasionally do some sort of special edition of, of of the Bizarre Briefing. So sort of like how, you know, Cord Killers had their, we got a cord cutting special. But uh, then we would do like a, this is our special about like, this is how scam school is made. Let's go through the process or let's oh, do I this see or mean. whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, and so it would be a thing where like, twice a year you would do it or maybe three times a year since we do the show so infrequently already yeah um we and i've one for scam school for behind the scam for scam school remix yeah um maybe yeah. well we could even maybe do a um i mean this this will already sound like too much work but uh having a like a little i don't know five minute behind the scenes thing that we can like cut over to or something like that oh like a package yeah i mean i got a bunch of gopro footage from one of our scam school shoots oh that's right you kind of give it a you can kind of give it a commentary Mm -hmm. or something like that um because because i I guess for as much as we've done the show we haven't actually just sat down and said this is how we go about doing a scam school shoot or editing an episode of scam school or Mm -hmm. 
uh, stuff like that. Yeah, and also I think on some level, like those kind of behind the scenes style like analysis things could even be like their own standalone thing. Like I wanted to do for the longest time, I've wanted to do like a sort of analysis video for the Scam School channel about like how the style of scam school has changed over time especially since i kind of took over because mm -hmm. uh, that's what i could talk most to and like the philosophy behind changing some of those design choices yeah um and i think something like you know here here's how we do an episode of scam school i feel like that could just be like its own separate standalone video mm. um but it just so that way you know a little bit more production could be put behind it and yeah. especially because all that stuff is like that's always really interesting to me because a lot of it, you know, when it's working well, it's not sticking out. So it's something that, mm -hmm. you know, most people take for granted until, mm -hmm. you know, you really break it down, especially when you, I mean, you can kind of do it, some of it on your own by just watching an old episode and then watching a new episode and then being like, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can really see those differences, but yeah. But yeah, breaking apart would definitely, it would be interesting to hear for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I think we could do, you know, on this show, you know, an episode or something dedicated to one of those topics, uh, just kind of the process and, and experience of doing all that things and, and how those have changed over time. You know, Scam School Remix, has Scam School Remix changed much since it started? I feel like Scam School bit. Remix has been... There have been little touches that have been, like, yeah, made regular. Little little things have been added, but structurally it's almost exactly identical. Mm -hmm. Um but I guess and also the philosophy and the, and the the way you make editorial choices. Uh, well, also it was a thing stuff. where Remix, like I designed from the ground up, and Scam School I adopted. Mm -hmm. um, so Scam School, I had there were a lot of design choices that I didn't agree with that I walked into and had to like learn to emulate and then slowly change it out of that. Yeah. Um, whereas Remix, like. I I built it exactly to what I felt the content demanded. Yeah. Um, and behind the scam, behind the scam has changed quite a bit, but right, because that was that that's been a couple of different things. Yeah, and or it pulls from different things. Also, I had I had ideas for behind the scam that never happened, um, that I really wanted to happen, and that was that was long before I started working on Scam School. Um, and I had ideas for for audience growth and, and content development that just kind of fell by the wayside um, that probably wouldn't make as much sense these days. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. But, yeah, like the purpose of that show has changed quite a bit, whereas, like, Remix... was always been Remix. It's, it's yeah. always had the same same mission statement throughout. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think I think we could definitely spend some time... Uh, one of these episodes and talk about uh, some of the philosophy stuff like that. And, and Especially if we have a slow month. Yeah. Where it's like, we need something to fill, like we can really dive into a specific topic. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Unless there's anything else, you guys, but I feel like yeah, we're good. Not yeah, all. We covered all the big stuff for sure. Uh, John, are you, uh, it, it's almost time. We're getting there. Getting there. Coming up on I, it. Uh, I got. Are you talking about Star Wars? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did get my uh, my tickets. Yeah. I right. was opening uh, night. Yeah, I got opening night. Actually, nice. uh, we did really well. Um, I a friend told me, "Hey, you should. This is the day the tickets are going to go on sale." And I was like, "Thank you." And then uh, <laughs> so I just auto refreshed as soon as I got home from work that day. They went on sale. First showing was sold out. Second showing, clicked through, got middle middle, and I was hey, like, "No wow. way!" Whoa. Completed checkout, and then we were gonna try to get more tickets for because we wanted to go with some friends the next day. Uh -uh. And, then and then everything then, uh, everything exploded. crashed. So because oh. it was all on DraftHouse.com. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so I I could not believe that we even got tickets <laughs> online, let alone like good seats. The best, and... my favorite seats in any theater. Yeah. I love middle middle. I mean, come on, it's middle, yeah. middle. It's ideal. But uh, anyway, so so yeah. Did you get about that? But then the the showing where you get like the free pint glass. Yeah. So wow. yeah. Well, any showing you can do that. So at mm -hmm. Draft House, I thought it was yes. only at the um, I thought it was only at the South Lamar one. 
Oh, maybe then, because we only have tickets for South Lamar. Okay. So may, maybe yeah, that's I think what it's it only. Is. At I South thought Lamar it was for Austin. all of them though, because it says when you go to DraftHouse.com, like here's your the way the tickets will work. Mm, but but, maybe. but I, I didn't, look I at didn't it, go on any other checkout my, page. I I thought I saw in somewhere that it was only for the South Lamar one. But then we did. Uh, so then we okay. heard the in store stuff was working. So then uh, Kelsey went by and actually got more tickets for for the next day mm. and so i was like don't let anyone know you already have tickets because you got this line of people oh, yeah. who are frustrated mm. about not being able to get tickets they'll probably kill you <laughs> but uh but yeah it's so she's gonna get more tickets yeah. for the next day but um, we're all set mm-hmm. i'm have excited. you have you seen the trailer no 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 okay of course not i have not seen the trailer yeah. um yeah i've only seen stills so far in promotional material yeah. which is pretty good i feel like i did a good job so far avoiding stuff um yeah yeah, we'll see see how it goes, but I'm pretty excited. I did think that for the first time this week that uh, this will be the first uh, new Star Wars movie that I'll be watching uh, without my dad oh. in, the, oh. in the theater. So it was it was sad because yeah. I'm like, oh, man, I just realized that because I saw all the prequels with him uh, and um, the special editions in theater with him too. But the dawn of whatever. a new age. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, it's uh, I'm an adult now, I guess. Yep. Yeah, man. It's because wow. it's been ten years since Revenge of the Sith, so that's right. Different life. Um. So your 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 Twitter is still on hiatus. Yeah, but well, you can we, still follow me there. Yeah. You know, I'll just when gentle. I start using it again, I'll just be like, whoa. And if you've got stuff about the the store, because I'm sure there are people people who are like, yeah, yeah scamstuffstore uh, at gmail dot com for all your store questions and needs. Always happy to help you with that stuff. Did we, did we tweet from the store about the deck release? Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think I retweeted something. Okay, from there. Well, R- while Brant does that, uh, you can follow him on Twitter at Gatawag. Yep, I'm there. You can find me there. G A. I post stuff there. T O W A G. Yep, that's the one. Uh, uh, the Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Gatawag. I do Twitch stuff. When I get a new computer, I'll probably do more. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and he's also on that that comes to diamondclub.tv. Are you hooked into the new um uh Sergeant Muffins video service yet? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Yep. Do you like it? I, I mean it's re- it's really it's really nice. Yeah, I've only used it a couple times, but I think it's cool. I I really like the uh the sort of ingest backups kind of feature. That's right. I think that's really neat. Um yeah, I like it. Very cool. Uh so you can find them there. Uh you can find me on Twitter at brycas b r y c a s. And on Twitch, twitch.tv slash brightcast, I want to do um, more music streaming. I, um, mm. Curly and I spent two hours. Oh, yeah, you had that breakdown. Uh, breakdown? Well, like breaking it down. No, oh. Not like oh, oh, <laughs> a like, meltdown. Ah. No. Um, uh, a good yeah, chat. We, we, Curly and I were up until like 6 a.m. talking right af- after we were doing uh, Keep Talking and No One Explodes and um, it really made me want to do music streaming more often. So hopefully I will, I will be doing that, um, on, you can find it on the Twitch or I'm also on diamondclub.tv. The show is live on diamondclub.tv, usually on the last Monday of the month. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can subscribe to it at, uh, if you go to neshcom.com slash TBB, that's N-E-S-H-C-O-M.com slash TBB. Uh, you'll get the RSS and the iTunes stuff there. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Later. Bye. That's what I actually thought it was going to be about when we were talking about specials. I was like, dang, we could have dressed up for this one. Oh, we could have. Oh, too late. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>